I'm not gonna lie, the intro was probably the hardest part to this video and I still can't find one, so that's the intro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But I was on Instagram and before I even got on Instagram, I was thinking like, every time I post a new video, I gain a new viewer. Like, that's how I wanna start thinking about the videos I post in the future and things like that. So I was like, why not I have people that watch me, ask me questions to get to know me? You know what I'm saying? Number one on the list, we got my boy Jax. He said, go explore somewhere abandoned. No, 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 what? No, I believe in God. No, flicks would kind of be hard though. The flicks, not a flicks. Not a flick. I'm not gonna lie. He's he's on to something, but no, no, I'm not doing that. Nah, look, I'm not. No. Other videos like this, I will always like look at the questions before the videos and think of an answer and just like you feel me. So I be more prepared, easier editing. You know what I'm saying? But this time, I did not look at the questions. I did not look at anything. Every I just went on the poll, swiped up, screenshot it, and got straight off off Instagram. Number two, we got Bleaker Rock or Bleaker. I don't know. I I never really thought how to say this person's name. You know I you know I rock with you, my guy. But Bleaker Rock. I think that's how you say his name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. But he said, "What made you start? What made you want to start content creation?" I can't read. Um. Man, I really don't know what made me start. Going back, I've always, like, I've always been making content. Like, I've always been doing something content-related my whole life. Because I grew up in New Jersey, uh, like, Linden and Jersey City early in my life. And I didn't start until I moved to North Carolina, really. We moved down here in fourth grade, and I don't know, I just... Ever since I was young, I always been making like I like when I first started out like first 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 I was doing like dunk videos, like slow motion dunk videos on a mini hoop uh and just transitions to like little reactions uh videos then from there it just grew to Fortnite gaming content then from there it grew to IRL videos and then man I, I done had a journey until gaming and then back to IRL like I done had a whole journey and I didn't even realize I uh, I wanna the first YouTuber I really started to watch was Berlizzi. So I, I I think Berlizzi is the reason why I started. Berlizzi and me just having a creative mindset like I wore mismatch high socks and middle school like i wore tacky clothes and i was just not uh, i was putting it on don't get it wrong i was putting it on but it was like colorful but like it was it was fitted though i wasn't looking crazy though like don't get i always been fresh my whole life don't get it twisted i i what it was no like come up you feel me i was always there it was just upgrading you feel me so i was never like you know what i'm saying so boom but i want to say probably i just always had a creative mindset like why not try this and this and why not do that and this and i guess watching berlizzi when he was posting them exposed or like roasting the cartoons that's that's what really made me start and yeah and just i've always liked to do the stuff i do now i'm just recording it and putting it out there yeah yeah really really content is really an excuse to show off like my creativity for real for real like that's what it is. I think that's what got me into content creation. YouTube is really just an excuse for me to show off my creativity. And I think that's what got me into content creation. Shout out my guy Bleak. Appreciate you uh, giving me that realization, bro. Like that, I just realized, like that's just crazy to me. I'm, whoa. We got my boy EJ Condones, man. He says, what's the biggest hurdle you had to overcome in your career so far? Man. I done had so many hurdles, but the first thing that came to my mind was switching from gaming to IRL content. Like, for some, for like the OO OGs, like that's been here through it all, have seen my channel grow, fall, rise. Like, they done seen it all, bro. Like, I was really gaming. Like, I was making high paced gaming videos and when 
at first I really enjoyed it, but it got to a point where I just I just didn't enjoy it. Like I wanted to. I didn't enjoy playing the game as much as I wanted to. Like, cause I really didn't have friends on the game. So that's really like a main reason. I just didn't have friends on the game. So it would just be me playing by myself and then I'll get off and then edit the whole video and make it just seem so interesting, fun. And when it really was just I right, so then switching from that to doing content I do now that I actually enjoy and I feel like brings more joy into my life, like showing like what I do, how I do stuff, just showing my everyday stuff is just way more enjoyable than gaming content. So switching from that to IRL uh, is probably the biggest hurdle that uh, I done faced. That's what I feel like is my biggest hurdle, probably switching from gaming content to IRL. It was a hard switch, but I, I feel like I handled it very well. It was a lot of dark times, but that was that was really a hard hurdle. And I didn't, like y'all are making me realize stuff about myself, I didn't, I, 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 I like that. Next, we got my boy Dante, Fear of Dante. He asks, how do you feel about the fashion uh, community? Uh, fashion community is honestly one of the best communities honestly like it's so many cool people we relate to the same things that's why it's a community because we are all one like so many cool people so many like different ideas I just can't even say nothing bro it's just a great community everybody's friendly cool got swag i mean everybody's just bringing something new to the table every single day man it's just it's just cool it's lit like everybody should just join that and just like find their person. Like Vince, vet, vet. next we got my boy vet, vet, vet. Next we got my boy Venture, Venster. I'm butchering your name. I'm sorry, but my guy said plan slash goals for the next couple months. I plan on. I want to get monetized on YouTube. I really want to get monetized and like. A couple months like two to three months i feel like it, it will come a lot sooner but two to three months i really want to just stay consistent and just like give out some good content on youtube and just grow and i feel like if i do that i could get monetized in no time uh, i really want to promote myself more like i feel like i don't promote my youtube as much as i should like youtube is something i've always wanted to do i done grown up on youtube like like posting making content so i really just want to be a full-time content creator and i feel like i need to promote myself way more than i do and even if it's like the littlest thing i feel like i just need to promote myself and just get better at networking uh and traveling i just want to travel some more uh yeah so those those are my goals for the next couple months those Okay, and the last question comes from my boy Aldo, W.Aldo22. He says, what's a good way to stay into fashion without having to follow trends? Ooh, okay. For me, I always just try different things. Like, sometimes, you know, you're not as creative or you just, you just run into a wall every single time. But I feel like the more you practice and the more you do, you'll find just you'll find a way to just stand out from everybody like if everybody's doing this one thing the more the more like you try to do something different you're gonna find a way to always stand out and just do something different and not have to follow trends like i don't know if i'm explaining it right but like with me everybody does fit of the day videos they walk do a 360 and walk out with me i'll walk in do a 360 take my shoes off go back and forth and then dip out like you see it's the same thing but i find a way to do something different while kind of following a trend you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying so yeah just always figure out a way to stand out so you won't have to follow trends and just doing that being yourself is is going to be visible and noticeable all right, and that's a wrap. I want to do more like these, so comment down below if I should. Appreciate everybody that asked the question and participated in the video. Uh, and yeah, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Shout out to everybody that likes and comments, man. It doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, I love y'all, man, and I'm out, man. Peace.